Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, hello! I can't wait for you guys to watch me create this hand-painted Little Mermaid design today. I've removed her last set, prepped her nails, and put down a slip layer. And on her pinkies and her thumbs, I'm going in and marbling Purple Rain, Blue Jean, Deep Blue Sea from Fusion, as well as Peacock from Light Elegance to create kind of an under the sea effect. I'm really sorry for how messy the background is here. I thought it would be cute to put the products we're going to use behind it, and it is not. It's distracting and awful, so in a minute we're going to remove all that. Here I'm coming in on her pointer fingers with Mermaid in the Shade from Light Elegance and I'm going to paint that all over both pointer fingers and then I'm going to take a dotting tool with a little bit more of the same color on it and I'm going to swirl it around the nail um, to create almost like a wave effect in the nail ultimately at the end. This doesn't matter because I covered it and you can't see it which is upset because it was really really pretty but that's what I did here. I've encapsulated and finished filed all her nails and now I'm coming in on both her ring fingers with a small kind of medium art brush and Fusion's white paints and I'm going to paint the bottom half of the nail with that little point at the top to create kind of a shell outline. Fusion's tack free top coat on top of just the white and then I'm going to burnish a purple-ish chrome into that and draw some like seashell like lines on top but I think I forgot to film that part and then I put crystals near the cuticles so you'll kind of see that in the next shot but I forgot to film it because I didn't realize my camera was off. So here you can kind of see what I did on the ring finger. Um, now I'm going to top gloss those pointer nails. I'm using the Ultra Shine. And we are going to do a bubble effect on these nails. So I'm going to cure this. And then we're going to come in with whatever gel polish you'd like. I don't even remember which one I'm using here, but I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. Um, so I think this took me three or four attempts to get it right. and. I did, so here I did too thin a layer of gel polish and then you can't play with your bubbles like this because they just, they smear around in the gel polish and it just, it doesn't work. So make sure you give it a try before doing it on a client because we did this three or four times and had to file it off and restart from the top coat again and it was just awful. So learn from me, you'll see here, we wipe it off, eh, it didn't really work. It wasn't raised at all, it was kind of flat, you couldn't really see it. So this was my second attempt, same thing, it wasn't very raised, you can't really see it. I smudged it, it didn't work, we filed it off, we started again. Here I'm coming in with a thicker layer of gel polish. I plop the bubbles down, you go in the light, you don't mess around with it, and look, you wipe it off, and there it is. 
So this is where you can see that you can't really see the color underneath, but that's how you do a bubble nail. Okay, let's get to the hand painting. I've gone over both the ring fingers with Fusion's White Paints 101, and I've done two coats of that and cured and now all the tile all the colors on those on that tile in the top right corner are made using a mixture of fusion paints and so I'm gonna come in with this yellow that I've created and do the outline and the body of flounder and then we'll add some details. And then I'm just going to use a brush with some alcohol on it to clear up some of the lines and just square them up a little bit before we come in with some detail. So here I'm just using white and a very, very fine detail brush for his eyes. I always like to start with the bigger features first because then you can kind of adjust the rest to, from there. So now I'm going to do his mouth. Now to me, the next feature that stood out was the stripes on his body because from here I can line up the stripes in his fin on his back. So this is what I decided to do next. And during this process I am just looking at the samples that I did above the tile while I'm working. We're going to come in and do his fins. Now we're going to start to add our finer details, so I'm going to do his eyeballs, and I find using different size dotting tools to do eyes the easiest because you get perfect circles. And then with my Ugly Duckling Detailer number 2 brush, I'm going to come and do all the, all the outlining. And when I'm doing my outlining, I'm using a similar color to whatever I'm outlining, just darker. It's a lot less harsh than black.
While you're doing your outlining, I flash care a lot. Because then, if you mess up, you can use your brush with alcohol on it. You don't have to worry about smudging the rest of your design. And it just will make your life a lot easier to be flash caring quite frequently. Especially if you're working in tight spaces. I flash care. I should have flash cared almost each of these lines that I'm doing at the front of his fin by his head here. Because gel likes to be where gel is, it typically tends to run together, so that's that's why you want a flash care. When you're outlining, especially like the outline of his body like I'm doing here, it doesn't have to be the exact same thickness through the entire portion of the line. It's hand painted, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I find you get a really good effect that way as opposed to stressing over making it perfect the whole way along. Obviously you can clean up some lines and stuff, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. As I come in to do his eyes, I just want to mention that I do wish that I outlined these in the same color I outlined his body. I feel like the black just made them pop too much. And to me, it just, my sample that I did before looked better when I used a lighter color to outline his eyes. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. gloss this with Beanie's Ultra Shine just to seal it in and be done with this nail. In the middle on her pinkies I'm gonna come in with some crystal glue from Nail Techniques and put these Swarovski AB stars just on her pinkies. Now let's get to Ariel. So I'm coming in with kind of a skin tone color I've mixed here and a square, small square brush and just doing kind of the outline of her face and body. I do apologize because my camera turned off and I missed a little bit of the footage right here, but I've used some red for her hair, gone in with her eyes, and then I outlined her face with, again, just a color darker than her skin tone. And I'm using that same color that I used to outline to come in and do her nose with my Ugly Duckling Detailer brush. I find that I always place their eyes first, and then typically their mouth, but I know that I needed to get her nose in there so just because I kind of have a short face here I'm coming in with her nose so that I can proportion her mouth to that and that one wasn't working I wiped it off so let's start again
once I have her nose perfect, I'm going to use a darker red and come in and place her eyebrows. And I'm just using a really fine brush. I believe this one's from Sally's. I think the brand is like Winning Nails or something. I'll put it in the comments or in the description box below. Here I'm just using a like coral paints color and that same square brush and just adding a little bit of color into her cheeks. Again, I'm just using different size dotting tools for the iris and the pupils of the eyes and obviously curing in between. Looking back at this design, I really wish that I made her eyes closer to the shape of the sample that I did before I had this client. I think they just added a lot more attitude to her face. Now that we know where her cheeks and her nose and everything else on her face is, I'm going to come in and add her mouth. Obviously, if we left her like this, she would look crazy, so we're going to add some teeth. Outlining people's eyes, I do prefer to do it in black because I think it is a little bit more dramatic and it makes it stand out. Um, but for flounder, I would have just rather used a lighter color. We're going to add some purple at the bottom to detail in her bra, just so it kind of gives you a bit more of an idea of which character this is meant to be. And to try to get this as realistic as possible, we're going to add some dark red and even a little bit of black into her hair, watching the direction that your strokes are going, just to be sure that you're making it look how it would flow in the cartoon or in real life, or how it looks on that specific char character that you're going for. I do a lot of adding and removing and moving around and adding and removing again until I'm happy with my design. When you're hand painting, make sure you're watching for details. So in here I'm adding her collarbone and I find that that helps a lot from just looking like her neck just transforms into her body. Same with adding like the line for the chin and things like that. And now I'm using plaque and just kind of outlining her hair and a few other details. I dropped my detailer brush midway through this set and it made the rest of it very very hard because it was kind of angled it wasn't the same it lost a few bristles so take care of your brushes because they are your biggest tools
I'm putting down a layer of Beanie's Ultra Shine just to fill in and kind of smooth out any unevenness in my paints before I come in and do her eyelashes. By doing this layer, it gives you a smooth surface to work on so that your lashes can be wispy and perfect and they don't get bumped around or anything. Because I had dropped my detailer brush, you guys, I struggled with her eyelashes. I wiped them off and redid them a couple times. They were driving me insane. And I just, I couldn't get them right because the brush was crooked and it wasn't following the path that I wanted it to. And I don't know what was happening, but I struggled with it. I'm gonna seal that in with another layer of Beamy Ultra Shine, and that's it for this design. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this. If you have anything you wanna see from me in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.